our sign language expert tonight is Brian Moraro. Join our Monday's conversation, our socials at KBC Channel 1 on X, Facebook and uh, YouTube. That's right. Get on your phone. Now let's start with our lead story tonight. The High Court, of course, is yet again declined to stop the impeachment motion against Deputy President Rigade Gashagwa. Attempts by former United Democratic Party Secretary General Cleophas Malala on Monday to stop the impeachment motion against the Deputy President were rejected by Justice Bahati Momoye, who directed the file be placed before the presiding judge of the High Court, Chachamwita, for further directions. And this marked a record 19 attempts, by the way, by various parties to have the court stop the impeachment motion. Here now is that report. The High Court has for the second time declined to grant orders stopping the impeachment proceedings against Deputy President regarding Ashagwa. So my brother, President William Ruto, if in our zeal to work, I have wronged you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. A petition filed by Cleophus Malala sought to halt the exercise while the country's second in command is set to appear before the legislators to defend himself against the several charges leveled against him by the Kibwezi West lawmaker. President and I were elected to the joint ticket for five years, and that is the will of the people. Let us not fall into the, in the temptation of overturning the will of the people through other methods. This is after the National Assembly and the Senate informed the court that there are over 10 cases filed in various courts within the country touching on the DP's impeachment. Justice Bahati Momuye has ordered for the consolidation of the petitions and the file has been referred to the presiding judge, Justice Chacha Mwita. I have faith in our courts of law. We have competent men and women in our judiciary who I believe will uphold the Constitution protect it with their zeal and always uphold and protect the will of the Kenyan people. Kibwezi MP Mwenge Mutuse has cited 11 reasons in the over 200-page document before the House, especially on the worth of the second-in-command since he assumed office. The grounds themselves constitute about 42 pages, and with the rest of the material, we have about nearly 100 pages. I wish those who pursue me could just pursue me and allow my little brother to rest in peace. That I feel. The legislators maintained that there will be video clips showing how the deputy president undermined the government and sought to divide the nation by advocating for a particular region. Specifically, I want to appeal to our brothers and sisters in the Rift Valley, where there are many communities who live there, to leave this contest to lead us. Moreover, Kibwezi West MP Mwenge Mutuse, who last Tuesday tabled a notice of motion against the second in command, will call on his key witnesses, including Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja. Other key witnesses in the impeachment motion against Gashagwa include the secretary to the cabinet, Masi Wanjau, and former acting Kemsa chief executive officer, Andrew Mulwa. The three witnesses are expected to take to the stand to provide finer details to justify the grounds upon which Mutuse has premised his impeachment motion against Gashagwa. During the impeachment motion, the DP will be accorded two hours from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. to make his case, especially on the 11 charges. I am very persuaded, very persuaded that um, God, the Almighty, that so through President William Ruto, in very difficult circumstances, has gone nowhere. That God is still present. If the motion is supported by at least 233 MPs, National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula will communicate the resolution within two days to the Senate Speaker 
Amazon Kingi for action. However, as this matter is currently before the National Assembly, standing order 1015 provides as follows. It shall be out of order for a senator to criticize or call to question the proceedings in the National Assembly. Abdiaziz Hashim for Prime Edition.